to secure the gains we are making in the war against the virus, and while also addressing the current evolution of the disease, and particularly to address measures in regard to the third wave of the pandemic, and also on the advice of the National Security Council, the Council of Governors, we today, in keeping with the recommendations of the National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus, issue the first coronavirus public order of 2021 as follows. Number one, cognizant that the propagation of the coronavirus within our borders has been fueled by political gatherings and large social gatherings, today I direct that all forms of political gathering be and are hereby prohibited for a period of 30 days effective midnight on this 12th of March 2021. That the escalation or de-escalation of the containment measures in regard to the prohibition of political gatherings and social gatherings dependent on whether the national endeavor to break the chain of transmission will have been achieved. So if we do not achieve it, we shall extend it. Number three, to secure the implementation of the order on public gatherings and public ceremonies, I hereby further direct the national government administration officers, jointly with the national police service and county government enforcement officers, to strictly enforce this public order, regardless of the social status, political status of conveners of such political gatherings or social gatherings. Four, in regard to funerals, cremations, and other interment ceremonies, it is directed that these ceremonies shall be conducted strictly within 72 hours of confirmation of death. Four, it has further been ordered that attendees for funerals and graveside crematoria ceremonies or crematoria ceremonies shall be limited to the immediate family of the deceased with a number capped at no more than 100 persons. That at attendees of celebrations of weddings and other traditional unions and rites is hereby capped at 100 persons. Seven, there shall continue to be strict maintenance and enforcement of public social health measures, including regular washing of hands with soap and water, or use of sanitizers, physical and social distancing in all public areas. And eight, that in line with the guidelines issued by the Interfaith Council, only a maximum of one third of the capacity of places of worship will be allowed at each worship ceremony. The Ministry of Health, working closely with the National Government Administration officers, are also directed to enhance and strictly enforce border health security with a greater emphasis on informal entry points as the country remains at risk of the importation of new variants of the COVID-19. The Ministry of Health shall strengthen the existing COVID-19 genomic surveillance so as to monitor the circulating strains in the country for the purpose of informing policy decisions as well as public health interventions. 